Backlink Hurricane video number five, where to build links, part one. I've split this up into two different videos because there's quite a bit of information here. Now that we know what backlinks are and what they can do for us, as far as increasing the ranking of our sites, we need to know where you can build these links at. And trust me, there's absolutely no shortage of opportunity on the web to build backlinks. These are in no particular order, but we're gonna go ahead and start talking about them. The first one I've got listed is Web 2.0 mini sites. You got free blog hosting. Some of the more popular ones are Blogger, WordPress, and Tumblr. You can do a search for free blog hosting, and that'll bring up a ton of free blog hosting services that you can check out, put up a mini site, and start linking to your sites. Some other good opportunities are Squidoo and Hub Pages. Squidoo and Hub Pages and other type sites will allow you to put up a small site, including articles, affiliate links, and of course, what we're looking for, links back to your own website and your own pages. If you do it right, especially with Squidoo, you can actually earn a little bit of money on that. Then you've got what I call old school free hosting. These are places that allow you to put up your own website of your own design. You don't have to conform to their particular format so much. Uh, most of these are ad supported. There's a lot of places online where you can find free hosting. Zymic.com is one that I thought was kind of intriguing. They look like a pretty decent setup. I haven't actually used them, but they offer free hosting. There's a few limitations there, but they do not have ads that they put on your site, which is kind of a huge plus. Something you want to consider when you're building your links is that Google considers where your links are coming from. For instance, all blogger blogs are going to have the same C-Class IP. WordPress blogs would also, so you don't want to just build a bunch of WordPress pages and link those all to your site, because Google's going to go, hey, wait a minute, all these links are coming from the same IP, uh, not so great. So you want to mix it up a little bit, maybe one from Blogger, maybe one from WordPress, one from Squidoo, and so on. You want to spread it around so your links are coming from all over the web. Let's talk a little bit about article sites. These are a great way to get good exposure, develop yourself as an expert, and also create links back to your site. Some of the top ones are ezines.com, goarticles.com, buzzle.com, articlecity.com. I've included a PDF with a list of about 100 article directories that are all sorted by PR that you can use to locate these directories and decide which ones you want to place your articles on. Now, article sites have a fairly wide variety of standards, uh, ezines probably being the, the toughest to get your article into, although really it's not difficult. Your submissions at ezines.com are going to be reviewed by a human being, uh, so you got to conform to their standards of punctuation, grammar, their standards as far as links where they're placed in the article. But ezines also is considered to have among the highest authority, so they're a great place to get articles into. You start out as a basic member. I believe it's after you've submitted 10 articles. You go up for review where you can either be promoted to basic plus which gives you 25 more articles, or Platinum, which allows you unlimited articles. And also, if you get to Platinum level, your articles will be reviewed more quickly. At the basic level, they take about a week to get reviewed. And there's many other article sites that do no review whatsoever. They'll take anything that anybody puts on there. Um, they don't carry nearly the authority as some of the higher ranking sites. But still, it's exposure, and it's a backlink. You can also do a search for particular niche plus the words article directories and you can find niche article directories that are specifically related to your niche. Guest posts on blogs are a great way to get exposure. Guest posting takes time, you know you've got to write the articles, but posting on a high profile blog can get you lots of links. You know people start talking about your article, link into their sites. It takes some time and energy to get on a high profile blog, but it's well worth it if you can do it. Of course, link from your own blogs. And website directories. There's many, many website directories out there. Try to find one in your niche. We've included a PDF of web directories also, sorted by PR. Go ahead and sign up for a bunch of those. Your title and description should include your keywords. Keep that in mind. Your keywords should link to the specific page that has your keyword in it. You don't want to just, because you don't know what you're doing, just put something real generic in there. Be specific with your keywords there. And here's something else to think about while you're creating links. 
don't always link to the root of your domain. You want to practice deep linking. If you have a blog, link to the URL of the article you wrote, not to the root of your domain. About 25% of your links should go to the root, and as you add content, link to the individual pages. Remember, every page has its own page rank. You want to build the PR of each page individually, which in time will boost your whole site. Forum posting. You want to find forums that allow links in the signature. This will allow you every time you post on the forum to create a link back to your site. You want to use the forum like a normal person though. Don't be spammy. You want to interact natural, build up a reputation as an expert. This can be very powerful. You might have a hundred posts on a given forum and at any time you can change your signature and it'll change a link on all a hundred posts. Be careful about that because you might not want to change the link on all a hundred posts. .edu forum posts are another great place to get exposure. Go ahead and sign up for those boards, post on them, like I said, just like a normal user. You don't have to go crazy here. A few posts on a forum, you know, get your name out there. That's usually sufficient. You don't have to live on the forums. Blog commenting. We hit on this a little bit earlier. We want to make sure that there do follow pages that you're commenting on. Remember, you don't get any link juice if you're on a no follow page. There's software available that can help you find the do follow pages. Take a look at the PDFs we've included for search strings that will help you find related blogs. And another thing, take a note of instant approval blogs. If you find a blog that does instant approval that doesn't moderate, bookmark that because you're going to want to come back and use that. Social bookmarking. We've also included a PDF of social bookmarking sites. Go ahead and make an account on as many as you can. Build up your profiles. There's also automated software for doing your bookmarking. But uh, some of them aren't real good. Some are kind of spammy. Some are kind of buggy. I uh, don't really have anything I can recommend necessarily. Sorry, I got a little off track there. By social bookmarking, we're talking about sites like Dig and StumbleUpon. Then you've got your social sites like Twitter and Facebook, video hosting, YouTube. Check out our PDF also of the top social sites that we've included. Just remember when you're on the social sites, uh, you're there to build backlinks. You're not there to just talk to your Aunt Betty by instant message. This can be a real big time drain if you're not careful. And YouTube, come on, how many days can you spend on there? There's a great tool I wanted to tell you about too called Noam.com, which can be used for automated signup. Noam.com has several pricing packages and levels of service and will check and reserve your name at hundreds of sites, literally hundreds. Uh, they got, like I said, different pricing, but go ahead and check out Noam.com and uh, you'll find that they're a pretty good time-saving resource if you decide to use them. RSS feeds. Before we wrap up the video, let's talk just a bit about that. You want to go out and find RSS directories, and we've also included a PDF with those, those top directories. You want to submit your site's RSS feeds to the directories to build more links. All right, this has been a bit of a whirlwind of all the different places where you can build backlinks. Be sure to check out those PDFs. There's literally bazillions of places where you can do backlinks. All right, now let's take a break and then we'll go on to part two of where to build links.